they were taking a look at Echoes by Pink Floyd, the Pompey version. Uh, if you want to sound like David Gilmore, probably want to turn on your fuzz and delay and stuff like that. But for the lesson, I will turn them off so I can show you the notes and so that you can hear them clearly. Actually, I have a cover of uh, this soul and I'll put the link somewhere here in the, in the on the screen. So let's get to it. So your first phrase is the following. You start on your C sharp, then B, and you finish on G sharp. So. And on your B note, you'd like to do a kind of small bend. Nothing too fancy, you don't want to go none of this, just then on the C string. Second fret, fourth and fifth. So and then your next phrase is It's a little bit trickier. After you do these two bends on the G string, he releases, swipes to the 19th fret, and does a huge bend here. So. But he doesn't pick the bend here like I did, you know. Uh, he uses the momentum from this band here. Now when I don't have uh, distortion or first, it's a little bit hard to do, but the idea is the following, you go like... And after this huge band, you go back in your minor pentatonic, you hit the ninth of the G string, then 11 of the D, finish your phrase on the 11th of the A. So the, everything that we have so far.
I will play it again. So, this is pretty much the first half of the solo. Then the next part, the chords change. So far you were in C sharp minor, and the next part of the solo is on C sharp major, and it goes like that. So you swipe from the seven to the ninth of the B string. Then after you swipe, you hit again, you're on the 9th fret, and then you go to your 14th fret, so. And then you bend the 16th. Release the bend. Play the 16th. And you finish the phrase, the 9th fret, so very slow. Then the soul continues like that. So you finished on the ninth and you start with a slide to the seventh. And then you come again to the ninth. Then the tenth. Again the ninth. Seven, nine, ten. Then we have nine, ten, and eleven. And the second time we bend the the twelfth fret, not the eleven. I'm sorry, the twelfth fret. Then you bend the thirteenth. And you finish on the B string 10th fret. So this raise together. So on the 11th fret, you, on the 12th fret, you do kind of a very small bend, and then the 13th. Okay, so everything so far. Amazing, amazing concert. Whatever. So the next the, the next phrase is like that. So you swipe the eleven of the D string, then the ninth of the G, the eleven of the G. twice bent the first time very short and the second time kind of longer so then you bend the 12th fret B string but before you bend you play it twice so
play twice, you bend, then you play beneath it the, the 12th fret, but the E string. And after you play the 12th uh, fret of the E string, you don't release the bend, but you can play it once again. So. So you go to the first string, 12th fret, you play, play the 12th, then the 11th, you go back to the 12th, and you bend. Then you play 12th, 11th, 11th and pull off. Then 12 of the B, and you bend it. So, so then you play the 13th of the B, you bend it, and then you bend 12 of the B. So we have, but the 12 of the B is again kind of half bent half a step, so not. This is the 13 and the 12. Let's see what we have so far. The next phrase goes like that. So you are only on the high E, you start on the 9th fret, the 11th and the 12th. But you can hammer on the 12th from the 12th to the 11th. Something like that. So. Then you swipe from the the 12th fret to the 14th, and then once again from the 14th to the 16th. So, once again, very slow this phrase. And then. So we have. This is the 19th friend, I guess. The 19th friend. You swipe to the 21st. So we have two times, and the third time is swipe. So we are on 21st, for me this is the last one, and you do, again you play it a few times, so out of you play it a few times, like, 
So four times, and the fifth time is the bend. And then you release the bend on the 21st. So. The next phrase. So you start on the 16th fret, the high E. So the 16, then you bend the 19, you bend and release. Then again the 19, uh, the 16, I'm sorry. And this maybe it can look a little bit strange for you, this. But actually this is the this D shape to go up here. This is your D shape. So 16, you bend the 19, release. Sixteen, seventeen of the B. 16 of the G. Then you start again, but down you go from G, B, E. Then, which is 17 of the E. And then we go back which is 16, 17 of the B, 16 of the G, so. And you're almost there. And so we'll so finish like that. So you swipe to the 16 of the B, uh, the, the G, 16 of the G. Then you play the 16 of the B. Swipe, play again the G, and then the B. Then you swipe this shape uh, one fret higher, and you play the same. So. Okay, so let's see the whole soul together, very slow. So after the solo is uh, done, the song continues in this C sharp uh, minor riff, which is. So you start C, C minor, C sharp minor, and you start. Then you go from 
automatically to A. So C sharp, C, B, A. So and you do the, the same thing on A major. Then you go back chromatically to C sharp. And the riff ends, uh, you can go it down around if you want, but it, it's, it goes like that. And starts again. So yeah, it's kind of a turnaround. So you if you know, you are, you know, you are on A. And then you start as if you are going back to C sharp, but you do. And you hit your over E. So A, C, D, A. And you on E major. And then you have B major. is C major and he does kind of a so so you start from the fifth fourth third second and you go back to the third so So the real very slow. Second time, the the rhythm is kind of changed. It's, it, it becomes heavier and heavier, and like that. But the chords are the same, and it finishes the same. the riff and also there is a very interesting part when uh, the riff ends and they start with, like this kind of funky bass groove like you know this um, what David Gilmore does is something very interesting he plays it's not complicated but it's very uh, groove is very nice it's like So this is basically, again, your C sharp minor, but C sharp minor seven. So you don't, you don't play the, what is that? The sixth of the G. You leave your pinky. This is your first chord and your second chord is over here, which is actually a C sharp major. It's the same chord, but so what you do is you take your D shape and you slide it all the way here, starting from the seventh. 
Here's F6, 7, 6. F sharp. C sharp, minor 7. To F major. To F sharp major. And the rhythm is something that you must practice to get, so it's like. hand is always moving and on this part they are taking turns with uh, the keyboard uh, David Gilmour is sewing on top and then the keyboard and uh, pretty much this is the this is the the song or at least the second part the main solo the riff and the the outro so thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe <laughs>